Good morning, babes. Welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica Alexandria of Behind in Life. I had this idea the other day and I wanted to share it with you guys. And it's kind of like a vision board of sorts, but we're mixing tarot cards and oracle cards with co-creation and manifestation and magic. <clears throat> it feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> Does that feel good? Okay, no, seriously, what happened was I had a moment, okay? I had a day. And I was just like, yo, today is really getting me. Like, it's really grinding. This is my favorite song. I'll come back. Hold on. Hey, Google, turn the volume up 100%. I remember you were on my hand and call me memories. All right, my apologies. Sorry about that, guys. You know when your favorite song comes on and you're just like, everybody, quit moving, quit talking. This is for me. Yeah, that was me. Everything has to stop so that you can enjoy it. And if you don't enjoy it 100% the first time, then you have to put it on repeat because chances are you have that song saved in your phone somewhere. Anyways, okay, so basically, back to what it was I was saying, I had a day where it just was getting the best of me and I was so frustrated, but I don't know about you, I don't know if it's my cancer rising or what, but sometimes when I am challenged or when I have, I feel opposition, I see it so much as a challenge. And it was like one thing right after the other that one day, and I, I had this book deadline, I had to finish writing this huge, this major section of my book that you guys know, most of you guys I think know that it is that I'm writing. And within that day, literally everything that could go wrong or all these like, Things were showing up and popping up. I don't want to talk about it in detail because I'm in the boxing ring with it right now, but it's cool. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Feel free to send me good vibes, but don't worry about me. Instead of me feeling defeated by this, I'm like, nope, mm -mm, nope, not today, Satan. I'm not the one. And then I was like, I need to create a vision board right now. And I also have a lot of pent up aggression and, aggression and frustration. So let me go ahead and get this out. So I have a lot of tarot cards. For me, it's a lot. I know some of you guys probably have more than I do, but I have, in my opinion, a lot. And some of them I've had for years, but I don't use them anymore. Maybe they got sticky or weird or whatever because life. You know, life. My first tarot deck that I've ever used, I hold a really nice soft spot in my heart for it, but I don't use it because it's, you know, sticky, like for whatever reason. Like, I think I was using like oils or something in order to work my magic with them the first time, but I don't, I don't work with them. But I decided, you know, these tarot decks, I'm not using them, but I can use them but not in the way that we usually use tarot decks. Meaning like, you know, we shuffle with them, we pull from them, whatever. I'm like, I'm gonna use my cards, these cards, and I'm gonna create a vision board of sorts. Now let me show you this. Let me show you what I thought of, and let's go this way. Let's go outside, because it's beautiful out. Skirt. Hold on, look at this. Look at, look at what I have. Look at what is growing. Look at my baby. Keep growing, little one. You are an angel. Keep your face to the sun. Look at this little guy. Hi. You're not ready to bloom yet? No, it's fine. It's fine. Take your time. Take your time. Look at these little guys. Hi, honey. Sending you my love, okay? Love and light. And here's some roses. Franklin. He's like, are you singing to the plants again? That might be. That might be happening. Okay. So back to my tarot vision board manifestation. Oh, cool. So this. You guys, look at my idea. Whoops, let me take this down. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? If you want to send me mail, which some of you guys have been asking this for a while, but I was in a period of transition from Philadelphia to New Orleans. This is my address for you to send mail to. Tarot decks, snacks, photos of your dog or cat, letters i actually love snail mail right now if you do send me mail maybe write it in uh, crayon or marker i don't know why i'm gravitating towards that right now but yes this is my mail and i will update my mailbox down below but anyways back to my vision board idea which is what i have here if you have not seen this tarot deck before it is the spiral tarot i personally love this deck but i stopped using it because it kind of had this like film on it 
and I think it was from using oils and um, charged Florida water and stuff like that while I was working my magic with it. I used to shuffle with this all the time and I highly recommend it if you do want to shuffle with it. And I think now that I'm seeing this again that I might get a second deck and work with it again because the pictures of it are so visually stimulating like they're so vibrant they're so pretty my only thing is is that I wish with this deck that there was like you know more people of color but it is what it is I'm gonna sit here on my desk and if you don't believe me this is me sitting on my desk right now I had a day and I'm like you know what I'm not gonna let this thing get me down I am not gonna let my this these current things that are bothering me right now, I'm not gonna let them make me feel powerless. And it takes a lot to make me feel powerless. And it's not because I'm my head is blown up or I'm egocentric, because if anything, it took me a really long time, years, for me to not only do inner healing work in order for me to work on healing my own inner child and my own issues of self-worth and self-love and self-value. That's why I'm 6,000% Goddess Vibes energy today. It's because of all of that magic that I've been working and all of that time that I spent working with the divine and with my angels and my guides that helped me to realize my own worth, my own value, so that I could be an empowered individual, so that I could work my magic daily. So I don't want you guys to hear me say like, you know, I'm not gonna let this get me down or some of you guys are like Jess I I I envy your confidence you know and I want you guys to know like I'm not being overly confident this is how God created us to be is to see our own worth when things start happening in your life that frustrates you or try to knock you down it's the person who doesn't see their own value and self-worth that starts to feel like they start feeling powerless when in reality it's the universe being like come on if there's anybody that can do it it's gonna be you and I want you to pick yourself up I want you to try it again and more than that I want you to know exactly what it is that you want because these things that are happening around you are set in motion and set in place in order to help you to get what it is that you want when you recognize that when you see that you are unstoppable so that's what happened I literally was getting these phone calls and I was getting these conversation uh, text messages and messages and each one I was just like for real for real for real, because there's like literally four or five messages that I got within that day while I was about to hit this deadline and for this book and I'm like, okay, okay, let's box. Like that was just my mindset. So instead of me feeling defeated and frustrated, I did take like, uh, I think it was like 10 minutes to get in the shower and just center myself. For some reason, getting in the shower makes me feel so much better. And I think it's because I'm a Virgo. But I think that this happens for a lot of people. But just me getting clean all over again, even if I'm already clean, it makes me feel like my life is together. If my hair is slicked, if my, you know, if I'm moisturized, if I'm good, I'm golden. Anyways, so I'm like, I need to create a vision board. I need to re-examine what it is that I'm working towards because this opposition that I'm feeling right now is challenging me right now so I used that frustration I channeled it into something constructive and that is when my vision board was created and I invite you guys to do the same but pretty much the center of my deck is me my energy this is not only my potential but this is like the vibe the essence the energy of what it is that's around me and it's kind of inspired by the celtic cross but every time i look at my vision board i want to see the i want to be able to see and feel my what i'm trying to manifest and that's what the tarot is for me. When I see these cards, or when I see specific cards, and it could, <clears throat> it's not necessarily the spiral tarot, it's any tarot deck. I know that that card represents so much, but I want something, I want to see it. This is my desk, this is my workspace, so I want to be able to see this every day when I'm working and when I'm manifesting, when I'm co-creating. Anyways, this center of the my vision board of sorts is kind of inspired by you know, the Celtic cross, and this represents me, who I am, and where it is that I'm coming from, and obviously, I am the magician here, and all of the energy of the magician, so all of this comes from my center, and my center, for me personally, is my heart, so this shows not only my heart, but my intention, and from that, radiates, radiates out all of who it is that I am, and all it is that I want to co-create, all of what it is that I want to create, and from that the base of this is where it is that i'm coming from and what it is that i'm standing on so this is 
um, you know, pure intention, pure good vibes, pure good love. This is security and stability, which I feel is very important for me to have within my life. And I'm using a lot of numbers and numerology in order to create you know, my entire vision board. So Four of Pentacles, you know, some people look at this and they're like, oh my God, how stubborn. But the Four of Pentacles works so hard for what it has to create and nine times out of 10, it's, it created it from nothing. Like it kind of conjured it up out of nothing, seemingly nothing. And it's what it is that you're here and destined to do. And I just listened to that call. I listened to that. I listened to my spark, my inspiration, you know, this call of, you know, what is my north node within my chart and who am I to my core? So from this is everything that it is that I am creating, everything that it is that I'm manifesting, everything that it is that who I am. This Queen of Swords, you know, I've really been identifying with her lately because, and this is crazy because for the longest time I really didn't like her, but she reminds me every day to have boundaries. I, if I would have looked at this vision board like three months ago, the Queen of Pentacles would have been closer to the Magician. But the Queen of Pentacles is who I naturally am, and I wanted the Queen of Swords closer to me as the Magician because this is really about me cementing and firming you know, my own personal boundaries, what it is that I want for myself, not taking any more bullshit. Not that I ever did, but definitely not now, not taking any bullshit. And because of that, I achieve success for myself. And the other thing too is that I know that I'm naturally a queen of cups energy, but it's the queen of swords that it is I'm channeling now. So because this is my vision board, this is what it is that I'm working towards. Now, the empress, the empress for me, she represents all aspects of all of the queens in one. And that's why I want her at the top as well as my strength. Because for me personally, I am learning a lot about control and patience. I normally, let me flip this around. I normally have patience, but sometimes, you know, I don't know. I'm in a spot in my life right now where I do have patience and I can manifest. But I'm really working on manipulating my environment, not for the sake of magic and, and conjuring, but for the sake of peace and allowing things to just be and flowing. And I, again, that's something that I'm naturally good at, but I want to pull more from my strength. I want to gain more from my strength. I want to learn more about strength. And not in a way that beats me up, but in a way that I'm these things, these beasts, you know, this energy that is so large around me that I am able to control it, not in a way that asserts my power in a way that is offensive or disrespectful, but in a way that it submits to me because I'm worthy and I'm, it, I should be respected. And my intention comes from a good place. My intention comes from a pure heart. So that's why the strength card is at the top for me personally. And that's ultimately where my nine of cups is gonna come from and continue to come from. Now, I, I'm also in a space right now where I'm working a lot with, I, don't, I haven't decided if it's soulmate or twin flame or my life partner, just as simple as that. But that's essentially where it is that my brain is at as far as moving forward, moving forward into the future. And I don't want just any partner who's going to, you know, bring, you know, bring romance and love. I mean, and intimacy, we can get that anywhere. I really want someone who is on equal energy levels as me as far as knowing what they want and us working to build a partnership together in order to create that. So I don't really want to settle for just, and I know this, this sounds crazy for some people, but I don't want to settle just for love and romance and intimacy and, you know, sex and uh, commitment. I want all of those aspects and I also want them to be as strong as and as powerful as I am and know what it is that they want and have a, a really strong foundation for themselves so that I'm not distracted by love, so that I'm not distracted by our romance, so I'm not distracted by our, the world that is that we're living in. You know what I mean? You know when you fall in love and you're just so caught up in it that you start, I don't wanna say neglecting your tasks and your responsibilities. I wanna be better because of our partnership. I wanna be better because that person is the person that I chose to bring into my life and we are building something incredible together. And that's when I see the sun card. 
for me that is ultimate happiness and that is what it is that I'm calling in and that's why I want this foundation here I want the four of wands and I want the king of pentacles because the king of pentacles understands where it is that I'm coming from because I am a highly motivated determined powerful woman human being like damn like damn so that's what I created the other day in a moment where I just was like what <laughs> and I literally in the moment I'm like nope you're not gonna make me feel bad it, it takes a lot to make me feel bad but I just was like not today I'm actually gonna use this frustration to nail this thing into the wall and take these pins and pin it into my tarot deck so that I can have every day this energy that it is I'm feeling, this anger, this frustration, this like, for real, I'm going to use it to create instead of destroy. And if I'm destroying anything, it's the obstacle. It's the opposition. It's the blockage. That's what it is that we're destroying. And also keep in mind, I've been working a lot with my Goddess Vibes oil. I've been working a lot with my Pluto Death oil. I've been working a lot with my Hex oil. And if it wasn't for those moments of, you know, intention setting and magic that I've had at my altar I would not be where it is that I am today I if anything I'd probably be folded over in a corner rocking back and forth wondering what do I do next like I already know what to do next I know what to do next you know so that's what it is that I'm feeling today if you guys want to work with oracle decks um or if you have a tarot deck or an old tarot deck that you're not using anymore I highly recommend or I highly encourage you to try this for yourself and see how it makes you feel if you want to work with an oracle deck and add those aspects of that to your vision board. I pretty much, for those of you guys that are gonna ask, you know, what is it on the background? This is just, I don't wanna say a cork board, but some type of board that you use for pinning things for your work and stuff. It, the words behind it says, work hard, stay humble. And that's what I had in my office in Philadelphia. But now it's my vision board here in my office in New Orleans. What I will say is that I don't recommend you using a deck that you would want to shuffle with every day. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But this is for the people, and there's lots of us. There's plenty of us who have so many Oracle decks and Tarot decks. That's where a lot of mine are right there. And some of them that we're not even using anymore. Well, this is a great way in order to turn those decks that you have a soft spot for instead of throwing them away and just having them on a shelf this is a great way for you to display it and to work with that energy every single day but not in the way that we normally would all right so that's what i'm seeing i'm really interested in seeing you guys' own uh vision boards you can go ahead and tag me at bahati life make sure that you're following me on instagram i don't know why so many people lately are like oh my god jess i had no idea that you were on instagram or oh my god jess i had no idea you're on youtube and i understand because I just understand. How could you? You know, I'm pretty humble. I don't really spend a lot of time in you know, self-promotion or anything like that. So I get it. But, you know, make sure that you're following me on YouTube and make sure that you're following me on YouTube, on Instagram. I just repeated myself twice. And you can find all the links for me down below. And, of course, I have a shop for those of you guys that are um, looking out for it. And you'll be like, Jess, when can I get your Pluto Death Oil? You know, we have shop updates a lot. And you can also see the creation process of what that looks like for me. Um, what my magic looks like you know once a month usually I or a few times a month you'll see and you also see what is it I'm working with what I'm co-creating what I'm manifesting okay so thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more vlog videos like this you know let me know down in the comments because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with my YouTube channel I mean I do know but I'm open I'm a little bit more open than I was before I love you guys legit 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 so leave it down in the comments um, what you want to see my day-to-day -day life etc etc and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!